Lieutenant Whedon Osborne is buried in Plot A, Row 3, Grave 39. He was a Chicago native who was a dentist by trade, and he entered the Navy to be a dentist in May of 1917, just weeks after America declared war on Germany. By the time he reached Bellow Wood, Osborne was a lieutenant junior grade with an assignment as a dental surgeon. He was assigned to the 6th Marine Regiment, a unit that was among those who experienced the heaviest fighting here at Bellow Wood. On the 1st of June, Osborne's regiment reached the Western Front just as the Germans were seizing the small town of Buresh, which is just around the corner from here. When the Marines arrived, the French were in the process of falling back to new defensive lines. The infusion of new American troops provided the needed reinforcements to be able to hold the line. By the 3rd of June, the German advance in this sector had been stopped. So after the blunting that German advance, the Marines launched an attack of their own, striking out at Beresh on the morning of the 6th of June. Osborne's brigade charged into the face of enemy machine gun fire. As the German fire cut down more than a thousand men that day, Osborne was working as a medic and he scrambled to retrieve the wounded and rush them to safety as best he could. While he was trying to carry Captain Donald Duncan to safety, a, a shell struck and killed both men. For his actions that day, Lieutenant Osborne received the Medal of Honor. His citation reads, quote, in the hottest fighting, the hottest of the fighting when the Marines made their famous advance on Buresh at the southern edge of Bellow Wood, Lieutenant J.G. Osborne threw himself zealously into the work of rescuing the wounded. Extremely courageous in the performance of this perilous task, he was killed by carrying a wounded officer to a place of safety. By his exceptional fortitude, inspiring initiative, and selfless devotion to duty, Lieutenant J.G. Osborne reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. He gallantly gave his life for his country. Now, an interesting footnote to Lieutenant Osborne's story. In 2002, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, received word that someone was attempting to sell Whedon Osborne's Medal of Honor. It's a federal crime in the United States to sell a Medal of Honor, and so the medal was confiscated and it was given to the National Museum of the United States Navy, where it remains to this day as a part of their World War I exhibit.